Uh, I breathe new life, Dean Wood, Machiavelli Got some young niggas rolling with machine gun Kellys On the block to the sun up, try and get their ones up And a body bag a stick up, boy, you try to run up This that Quall Street fire Dean Wood Station Flow, got them niggas over laws, trying to find a way to go. Me, I'm on the way to go. Couple Maybachs, couple homes, killing these shows, murking clubs and fucking hoes. Two, three, I'm in my zone. No talk address the chrome. Taught to live like a boss. My shit say Corleone. Living by that old murder. Pussy respect the code. Known as a man of honor. One that'll stand strong as Gambino. You know, bitch, when you see me dropping low trick. These other niggas out here, witch, hot and hocus pocus. These young niggas be loafing out here, bullshit and no toasters. And I don't drive a fort, but I'm Always focused. What? It's Pat is dope, and I'm here with Crazy the Showstopper, aka Stoppy Gambino, DMG all day. That you know what it is. So what's going on? We 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 was last time we was in the bando, whatever you want to call it, with the whole crew. <laughs> last time we was in the trap, all crazy man, with the whole crew. Shout uh -huh. out hard working ENT. Big shout you know out. What I'm saying I am a member of that group. You okay. know what I'm saying? But right now I'm out doing my solo thing. I got my solo mixtape coming out called Gambino's Way, and um, I'm releasing my first single. You know what I'm saying? Chasing all night. I'm That's releasing. I'm re I'm releasing yeah. the first single. And we definitely dropping that shit on y'all in a special way. So fuck with my man. Most definitely. Most definitely. So we got hustle nomics. Yeah, definitely got hustle hustle nomics. Hustle the song, okay. you know what I'm saying? Big shout out to Hustle Nomics and the whole Chicago, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with they movement. Um, we just hit him up, you know what I'm saying? He said he felt the song, and we got that shit done like that, you know what I'm saying? So right now, I'm just trying to really give it out to the people, man. Let the f I really want to see what the people feel about it, you know what I'm saying? So how you feel about the DMV right now? Um, rap game, you know, hard working the MT, been grinding, you've mm -hmm. been grinding, all the men, good men over there. Right. Um, now you solo right now, mm -hmm. you still bang with them, right? you know? Mm -hmm. But it's your time to start your label. Right. Like, what made you come up with that, you know, situation and, and roll with it? I just feel like it was time, you know what I'm saying, for me to step out on a, on a, on a bigger ledge and put a, a bigger test for myself, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like I got it already, so if I put it, the weight on my shoulders for everybody, you know what I'm saying, we all win if I win, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I can do that. All right, so DMG's the label. Uh-huh. You still with hard working. Definitely is. That's still your family. Mm -hmm. What made you go on your own route? Uh, I just felt like, man, it was just time for me to step up the game, step up, step up my turn up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got a lot of music, I'm ready to release it, and um, me and Hard Working, we still together, you know what I'm saying? We still a team, but they let me know, you know what I'm saying? As a solo artist on Hard Working, you know what I'm saying? I got to step out and do my own thing, so I took the advantage to start my own label, I'm doing my own thing, and right now, man, I'm just trying to push and keep it going. Most of So, any artists right now on the label? Um, Right now, DMG is just all about one person, and that's crazy. The show stuff. Most you know definitely. Most definitely. Most definitely. So, where did, where, where did we get that name from? Like, who gave you the name Crazy or the Show What well, did you do? Did you do some crazy ass shit? Back in the day, you know what I'm saying, Dean Wood, when I was a little younger, you know what I'm saying, I'm not that old, but back in the day, I used to be on my wild shit, you know, running around, fighting, doing all crazy shit, you know what I'm saying? So, they used to call me Lil Crazy. Then the nigga stepped up the game, start getting some money, start being about something. They're like, man, we're gonna call you Crazy. Mm -hmm. And my name, The Showstopper, came from when I was a youngin'. Like, I always been performing all around the D.C. area. Um, my godfather kept me in talent shows, coming up, singing, dancing, all shit like that. And um, my first performance was at the Lincoln Memorial. Okay. And um, I got lost after I motherfucking performed Johnny Gill and shit. My, my, my. You I got performed. lost? What yeah. you mean? You left? I was a little nigga. I was like two years, three years old. That's some funny ass real shit, man. Loud, all right, all right, go ahead, tell I was story. like two, three years old, you know what I'm saying? Okay. After I perform, I do my little performance, and the whole crowd go wild, and I guess I get mad because they took me off the stage. It was time for somebody else to perform. Okay. So my mother tell me I roll out, stop the whole show. They had to stop everything just to find me, and that's why I got the name of Showstopper. Oh, man, man, man. Yeah, man. Makes just, a lot of sense. Just, why do you rap, though? I mean, cause I mean, this, you know, say, this say is just a normal rapper, a normal artist trying to come up. It's so like I like I ask a lot of people. It's so it's so it's, it's a struggle. Yeah. You spend so much money, you know, studio time, shows, and a lot of times you don't get shit out of it. Yeah, you right about that. Why do you rap? I mean, I've been doing this shit ever since I was four or five years old, as long as I can remember, rapping and singing. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's it's a it's just a part of me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even if I. Even if I don't make it, I feel like I'm gonna still be doing music in some type of some way. Some type of music. You know what I'm saying? It's just the love for it, the passion for it. I just love to do it. Most you know what I'm saying? It's always been something that meant everything to me. Most so let's talk about inspirations behind the music and behind the hustle. You know what I'm saying? Behind, mm -hmm. you know, Dean Wood. Mm -hmm. Definitely inspired by everybody in the in the neighborhood. Shout out to Fest, the Big Fella. He was definitely an inspiration to me as an artist. 
watching him. And back in the day, he used to be with a group called the Royal Family, you know what I'm saying? Known for forging that for balls. Mm -hmm. And back in the day, man, it used to be so much inspiration to me just to see a motherfucker go out and do it and motherfucker try to make something happen from my neighborhood. And shout out to the Spill Gang, shout out Festa Big Fella. Yeah, all shout out BOA, all them, you know what I'm saying? And I just felt like as I got older, I started fucking with some little dudes that was rapping and shit. Mm -hmm. But I always felt, I always felt the passion for it to Wiz, though, even when stuff happened with, you know what I'm saying, situations with, because I had friends that don't even rap to this day that I used to rap with back in the day. Yeah, yeah. And I always had the passion to be like, man, I'm going to keep doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? I got it. I, I, I feel like I got to keep doing this shit. I got to win. You know what I'm saying? What do we need to do as a whole? As the DMV, because you know we always say Atlanta down south, they they're not really more talented enough. Right. But it's like somebody always drops a hit every year, yeah. hit every year. You 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 find a new hood nigga. Mm -hmm. It could be you next. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what do you think we need to do as a whole? Unify. That's all we need is unify. But that might not happen. Yeah, it might not. But you know what I'm saying? If we can make it happen, you know what I'm saying? If if we can make if we can make it happen. You know what I'm saying? It'll be a better look for everybody. Cause we gotta remember as artists, we still got responsibility. You know what I'm saying? We still got responsibility to, to the motherfuckers in our neighborhood, to the city we come from. We got responsibility to put this motherfucker on the map. Other than hip hop, what's a big aspect right now in your life? What do you do on a daily besides, you know, get fly? Man, work all day long, studio. Like the music is the only thing I'm really, to be honest with you, like I used to be out in the streets and used to be bullshitting around, but nothing made me feel like I could do it like this music shit. Like I always felt like this music shit always was it for me, you know what I'm saying? Like if I ain't never do nothing right, I know I do this shit perfect. So we rocking the jacket, uh -huh. and, I'm, I'm, and I'm looking at it and it says you stink. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to figure out what does that mean? Well, first of all, you know what I'm saying? For all y'all that's been hearing the words, you stink lately. You probably heard it from my little brother. I just heard it today. You know what I'm saying? Uchi Baby, Big Qualls, you know what I'm saying? Slutty Boy shit, Lango God, shout Always. out to him. Always. You know what I'm saying? But for real, for real, I am the originator of the word, you stink. And you would prefer the stinkinator. And the word, you stink, means, say if you got a motherfucker, for instance, that's walking around all day around the hood, talking about, man, I got that baddest bitch in the club last night. That okay. bitch was like that, and I fucked the shit out of her this morning three times. You might be like, Man, you lying like a motherfucker. I seen you going in the house last night. You stink, son of a bitch. All right, let's get back to the project. Not the project, the single first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we got to, we about to drop the single in mm -hmm. a week or so. Chasing all night. Okay, we got that. And then your first solo project, right? Yeah, Gambino's Way. When we gonna get that? We probably gonna do Gambino's Way. I'm thinking probably sometime in January. Okay. Because I want to drop a couple, numbers, a, a couple more singles before I let the whole mixtape out and just give the people a feel of my music and a feel of what type of shit I'm bringing to the table. Give me one artist. It could be mainstream, it could be local, it could be, you know, anywhere in the world that, that, that you want on your project, that you that you just want to reach out to. Oh man, I listen to everybody, so that, that list arranged from from Nicki Minaj to Taylor Swift, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, um, as far as rappers, I, I love everybody, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with street niggas, I fuck with niggas that don't even rap about the street. So, I mean, we'll, I mean you, they look, we'll look at you like, right, you listen to mm -hmm. Nicki Minaj, yeah. country musicians, yeah. why? I mean, I just listen to music, period, you know what I'm saying? But my music comes from the street, you know what I'm saying? My music is street music, so I feel like that's the most easy music to make, is street music. So. I take a liking to different music because it's a, it, I take it as a challenge, you know what I'm saying? To try to make different music and try to create a new sound. Did hard work in the NT give up? Nah, never that. Hard work in the NT is definitely still a movement, definitely still moving strong, you know what I'm saying? Right now, we got everything that we need to be doing. Mm -hmm. We already, everything that's going on right now is a part of the plan. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Everything that's going on. From me doing this, from them doing what they doing, everything is part of the plan. Biggest supporter right now in your life in, in a solo career of your life? Um, I gotta say my whole team, my whole DMG team, you know what I'm saying? From uh, my man my man Alex, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's running everything, that's putting all the pieces together from my brother, you know what I'm saying? My brother Pete. People that, that's gonna be getting, starting to get in the scene, starting to get in the scene, but really gonna be playing the back scenes. But them, them, them the type of people, my manager, you know what I'm saying? It, them the type of people that's keeping this thing going right now. Man, hilarious ass interview, <laughs> serious ass interview with my man, the showstopper. He told y'all why they gave him the name, because when he was two years old, 
He performed and oh, got the fuck out of there. <laughs> they had to stop the show because they had to look for a little ass baby. That's what. His, that's how he got his name. Always be going for great things. Great things. Great things. And he blinging and I'm over here looking weak. You oh know what man, I'm come stinking. on, man. You, I'm stinking a little bit. I'll bring the other shit out for you next yeah, week. Please do that, next man. Next week, man. I bring it out. Pat is dope. We dropping that single this week. That's what life is about, man. Have a fun, man. Oh, Getting man. Geechee, man. You know what it is, man. Team No Fee shit. Shout out to everybody that's showing niggas some love, man. You know what it is. How I'm working in T, DMG. Y'all know what it is, man. This part is dope and I'm out. Squat. Pack it up, young nigga. Turn that out into 10 pounds. You that came up, young nigga.